Dr. Anthony Harper here, blessed to be at the White House with uh, Deputy Press Secretary Holden Gidley. Thank you for joining me. Of course. Thank you so much. And uh, first of all, I want to mention that our, our viewers really appreciate President Trump's uh, fight against anti-Semitism. Sure. And with, with that backdrop, and he's done a lot of things, uh, you know, about signing that, uh, that, uh, that bill regarding the funding for the schools and all that. Executive order protecting um, anti-Semitism against students at college campuses. It was a right. big deal. It was. Very big I, victory. And I was here for that. But, uh, you know, think about uh, in light of, uh, we recently had uh, announcement of the peace plan. Mm -hmm. But as far as the indoctrination of hate that has been going on, by the PLO and the PA, uh, you know, I, I've been covering the UNRWA issue, the right. UN schools and, and other indoctrination. So what's the, what's the U.S. response going to be to that? Well, that's one of the things that was in the, the peace plan. I mean, we want to mm -hmm. make sure that if, if you're going to bring stability to a region that has been you know, unstable for quite some time, that mm -hmm. one of the factions in the, in the agreement has to decide not to indoctrinate uh, children with hatred, not to participate in violent terrorist activity, mm -hmm. and that's an obvious platform of this because, look, this has been one of those issues that has dogged um, past presidents for a long time. It's been an issue in the region as well, and the president did something unique. He recognized basically the conditions on the ground, recognized reality mm -hmm. that in order for these two groups to live in peace, um, there's going to have to be some give and take here. And one of those pieces of the, the give is to understand you cannot continue down the road of indoctrination uh, if there's going to be any peace in the region. That just makes sense. And so that's what the president wants to ensure uh, happens to protect the people of Israel. And with that in mind, of course, we know President Trump defunded UNRWA. A really big deal. Yeah, of course. It happened in the past. Of and course. When, of course. I, when I was bringing up that issue. So the next question about is about President Trump's response to Israel's sovereignty and what in, in light of the, the peace plan, the, the map and all that, Israel's sovereignty over that area, sometimes referred to as Judea and Samaria or what, whatever right. that region is. Right, right. Of course. And that's very important also because we understand the national security implications of making sure Judea and Samaria are, are part of Israel and that mm -hmm. they're, they're protected. Uh, and, and that's part of what the president wanted to do here as well. Again, these are still part of early negotiations. Mm -hmm. um, this is a plan that largely uh, was was uh, praised by many in the region. So mm -hmm. it's exciting we're on the forefront of that, but there's still a lot to be hammered out before this actually gets to a place in which uh, we can declare peace in the region. Uh, mm -hmm. But look, we're working with the Israeli government to actually come up with uh, taking the conceptual map that we put out there and actually making it physical borders on the ground. That's exciting, um, you know, recognized uh, borders. That's that's a very important part of this as well. Mm -hmm. and, and if, again, if you want to have peace in the region, we understand the strategic necessity uh, of national security in, in the Jordan Valley, protecting Judea and Samaria, and that's what the president wants to have happen here. And, and we think uh, we're in a good starting off point despite mm -hmm. some of the rhetoric uh, on the other side, but, but we think we can get something done and that's what the president wants to do. It's really been disturbing for a lot of people about the rise in anti-Semitism around the world, of not course. only including this, you know, the PA and the, this indoctrination, but it, the many other issues I was just reading recently about a desecration of a Jewish cemetery in Vilnius, Lithuania. So many challenging issues to deal with. Absolutely, but the president recognizes they exist. That's part of the mm -hmm. that's part of the uh, the way you begin to combat it. Part of the way you begin to um, solve some of these issues. You have to recognize what's going on. The president's done that, and as you know, he's he's uh, made some historic moves with the Golan Heights and also moving the. Um, you know, the capital uh, to mm -hmm. Jerusalem. Those are things that a lot of people talked about for a long time but would never do. This president did it. This Middle East peace plan, I think, took some people by surprise, even though the president had been working on this for a long time. So at the president's mm -hmm. direction, the team got together, hammered this thing out, and we think that uh, it's reasonable, it's rational, and, and hopefully both parties will understand that, um, you know, the, the Palestinian people have a chance here for some peace. Uh, they have a chance for land, but it also protects our, our friends and partners and allies in Israel, and that's important to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we're really challenging issues. We encourage people to uh, pray for our leaders, of course, of course. and uh, hoping something will be, be done more about uh, these anti-Semitic issues, including that not only that uh, one in Denmark, but the one in Vilnius, Lithuania, I talked about before. And it's so great to be here, uh, here at the White House with uh, Deputy Press Secretary Hogan Gidley, and uh, we thank you so much. Of course. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Thank you.